Hi and welcome back to some Warframes. Now I thought I was waiting till update 8 to build this one but update 8 is now out so let's build Nyx. Now Nyx I've been looking at the stats and he's only got 10 armor. He does run at 1.1 which is slightly faster than the rest of them that only have 10 armor. But he, it, when leveled up he's got 300 health, 300 shield, 225 power, 20 recharge on a shield which is kind of slow. But it's this chaos ability here that makes him quite a good little warframe especially when doing defense missions because that ability uh, as you can see it says mind control <laughs> it sends everybody a bit insane and they start attacking each other and apparently it lasts until everybody's dead so buy this blueprint thank you for your purchase you're welcome Mr. Margaret Master Margaret, whatever. Yeah, uh, where is he? There he is. Now, obviously, you've got to get the chassis, the helmet, the systems. So we'll set these off to build, and then I'll show you where the oh, and it's taking us all the way at the bottom again. Here, no, it does that. Because I keep cocking up, and last time when I built, uh, was it Saren or Tr uh, Banshee? Not Trinity. I was reading the screen. I accidentally built Volt's helmet. It's down here at the bottom of the list. <laughs> okay. I don't know what to do with that now. What? That's them three bits now being built. Now, to actually get these, you have to go to... Let's jump back out of these menus. And... There it is. You have to kill this doggy right here. Now, as you can see, this is on, if I remember right, it's the outermost planet, the one past Pluto, and it's the, uh, the assassination mission. Now, this is a really, really big dog, and I mean really big. This guy, as I said, big ass doggy. Now, he's not actually that hard to kill, but he He's one of only two bosses that has the ability to kill you with one shot. An insta-kill thing. I hate that move. Uh, Jackal does it. We have a Saren here covering him in them green balls. Yeah, let's use the pistols. Melee for the win. That I didn't expect. He wasn't aiming that at me, the disruptor guy. I just happened to be standing right next to the thing he was hitting. Now, the one of the other problems is this move he's done here. Everybody gets affected by that at the same time. And if you're not careful, that can take down your shields and mess you up rather bad, especially when you first get here if you're surrounded by enemies. So you got to be careful of that one. And once you've killed them, that's the blueprint right there. Now, you might notice they're not white anymore. They're like a glowing purpley, co pinky colour. But that would be... Oh, the hell. It's a bunch of question marks. But anyway, that's part of the Nyx blueprint. Don't know why it's come up with a load of question marks, but I guess that's just because update 8 is still a tiny bit glitchy. Bye, boss. Oh, shit. Die, everybody. Ha, you all suck. They're no match for the mighty Gram. <laughs> so there. Okay, once them three are done building, obviously you just hit the claim. It would be nice if it would stay in the, that area, wouldn't it? Claim. Ah, they did fix this. It did used to stay there. 
Not for long, but it, it did stay there a little bit. Have I got the entire set of nicks I could build again? I shouldn't have, no. Nope, just the chassis helmet. Good, because I've got copies of people that I should have built. See, there's Marg. But only two pieces of her. Because you form them and they don't always drop the bit you want, so you end up with spares. And now, obviously, you would click on build once you've got all the three bits built. And in three days' time, we'll be able to try out Nyx. I'm actually looking forward to this. I haven't been looking forward to building a Warframe more than I have since I built Frost. All that time ago. Here we have Mr. Nyx. Oh, goosebumps. Now, the biggest problem I do have is I've got another two and a bit hours before that reactor's done, so I'm going to have to um, pardon me, level them up old school. But there is Nyx. Not really much. Got about 300 health, 300 shield capacity. I think it's 10 armor. Not really sure on that. It's his abilities that make him a worthy Warframe. Had to check, yes. Once fully ranked, level 30, he's got 300 st uh, health, 300 shield capacity. To begin with, none of that. Now, Absorb's pretty self-explanatory, does that. I'll show it in motion a bit later. Or soon. But basically, any damage that's taken to him, he disperses back at the people who do it. Problem is, if they duck into cover when the ability finishes and you send the damage back to them, it doesn't work. The main one I'm looking forward to trying out is that one. I think it's Chaos? Is it Mind Control? <gasps> I can't remember which one it is now. But there's one of them that does, it basically sends everybody attacking each other and they won't attack you. And they'll stay that way until the end of the round, unless they fixed it. Now, obviously, the alternate helmet here increases the stamina, but it depletes the shields. Can't really see that, though, because of the online button here. That's the standard helmet. That's the ultimate helmet. So basically, you, if you put that one on, you run a bit longer, but you get less shields. And just to be a pain in the ass, I'm going to try using that one first. Okay, so this is weird. You can clearly see this says I have one Oricon reactor left here. But if we go back and jump into his configuration, I've already installed it. I've put off leveling him until I've got the reactor just to make it more fun. It doesn't actually make it more fun, it's just that I got busy doing something else and I forgot about it for a few hours and I've gone to level them up here and for some reason I've still got the Oricon cell. The reactor. And now it's disappeared. What the hell? Can't get rid of the vault helmet. Vault. Now, the first ability is pretty simple. It's mind control. I'm just having problems finding somebody to use it on. Because for some reason, I keep killing them without shooting a single weapon. I'll do. Now, he will now fight for us. Of course, shooting the last guy alive, probably not the best of ideas. But he will, won't attack us anymore. He's now on our side. But it does have a timer and a timer, and it does wear off. Now, Psychic Bolt, which is the second ability, basically shoots darts that are meant to attack people. And then next off, we have Chaos. Blah. Now, this is the one where basically everybody should, these guys, should now be on my side. 
until obviously they kill each other. And the last one would be absorb. As I say, any damage done will be absorbed and then shot back to whoever was doing the damage. It's good if people are around you like that. If they're shooting at you from a distance, then uh, no. As you can tell, she actually has the normal four polarity slots and then two. But again, they seem to be power based, you know, power duration and the like. Power duration. I don't think I've got the other one handy. No. But you can use this one here for sprint speed. Hey there. I know that's enemy radar and you don't really need that one. There it is. Could put rush in and have sprint speed in there if you wanted, but they're aimed for power. But with that uh, second helmet thing, I've got a lot more power than I expected to have. Cancel. Because I've already got some mods installed there. Now, I will apologise in advance because I was referring to Nyx as a, sh a he. Um... Very clearly, it's a she. <laughs> but we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.